question for today is we know that everyone can be a sheikh so what is uh, and that we should also continue to seek knowledge all the time but what is the fun fundamental knowledge that every muslim should know every average layman should know this requires a full-fledged lecture Achi. there isn't a specific branch of science that this is a must rather there is a minimal requirement which your Islam cannot be verified and valid without. So to know the basics of the five pillars of Islam. The basics, what are they? The Shahada, establishing prayer, fasting, zakat, <clears throat> and hajj. To know the six pillars of Iman, which without, you're not a Muslim. The belief in Allah Azza wa Jal, the Day of Judgment, the angels, the, uh, uh, the prophets and messengers, and the scriptures, and the divine decree, whether good or bad. So this is a branch of aqidah. But without establishing five daily prayers, you're not a Muslim. So you have to know how to pray. And you can't know how to pray without knowing how to perform wudu. And in order to perform wudu, you have to know what is Purity and impurities, najis and tahir. And what are the containers carrying? The, the basics. I'm not talking about technicalities. I'm talking about the basics that without, you can't be a Muslim. You have to know how to fast because Ramadan is approaching. So you have to know what nullifies your fasting and how your fasting should be, the intention. These are the basics, bare minimum of knowledge that you are required to know which is something you can have in a crash course over the duration of a day or two, maybe less. The other type of communal obligations, this is not mandatory upon you. But if you want to become a sheikh or a student of knowledge, then you have to focus bit by bit to gain more <clears throat> higher levels of aqidah, of fiqh, of usul al-fiqh, of tafsir, of hadith, etc. And this goes gradually, inshallah. Azza wa